in metal. So I'm going to dive into the technicality, some of the challenges that we faced in designing this. Um, once we settled on an overall pattern that really captured your intentions design-wise, um, this is inspired by whiskey glasses clinking on a counter that has meaning to the homeowner. Um, I had to, these are laser cut panels, they're cut out of 11 gauge steel and in general the rule is when you're cutting out of 11 gauge steel you cannot have an opening that's uh, smaller than the thickness of the metal. So that means there cannot be an opening that's smaller than one eighth of an inch. So the way I work is I, I design, I like to push the limits and I think that's what makes this design and others unique. So I push the limits. So first of all, I ignore all the rules. And then I try to make it work. So my laser cutters love me. <laughs> Over the three stories, the pattern actually doesn't repeat. So it's not like, oh, come up with one pattern and repeat, 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 right. which sometimes you see. She had to start 10 feet below us, or 10 feet above us. So for 30 feet, we have different undulating patterns and they go from denser, allowing less light through, to less dense, they let the most light through. So when the elevator moves, we get that, I guess, ballet of music, That's right. light coming through. So that rocks, one of my favorite That's, things I love did. that you recognize that. And
We make chairs in America out of recycled aluminum. It's lightweight, non-corrosive, fireproof, and super strong. 77 steps is what it takes to make an Emeco chair. This process is a totally impractical process for a chair, unless you want a chair to last 150 years. We do everything under one roof. We cut the material, we form it, we weld it, we grind it, we anneal it, we heat treat it, we hand brush it, we anodize it. And in each of these steps, there's all these small details. It was a combination of science and the art of craftsmanship and where they intersect. In Hanover, Pennsylvania, there's not that many manufacturing jobs left. And Emico is one of those few companies where people can do craft jobs, people can do things with their hands. There's generations where there's a father and his son, and even his grandson, that have worked at Emico. One of the things I think is really significant that we're doing in the factory is polishing. It takes us eight hours per chair. And after eight hours of polishing, that chair looks like a piece of jewelry. Thank mm -hmm. you.